to the vlog. If you guys are new here, my name is Jenna. Welcome to a little Life Lately random vlog. Honestly, you guys, I don't really have anything like definitive to film because like you guys are as caught up as I am in terms of life. Like you guys have seen my Florida vlog and since then I worked like two days and then I had my weekend. To be honest, maybe we're gonna call this like a health vlog because I'm eating a salad. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it doesn't matter what I'm eating. You guys know how open I am about like my mental health and like my bad days and my low days. And I don't know if anybody here can relate, but I go through such like high highs and low lows when it comes to spending time with people and I feel like honestly I was on such a high high visiting Rachel staying with her having like a whole week off of work that like I came back to reality and just I had like a low low so honestly like I worked for two days and that was really fine like it was honestly nice getting back to work but then like this weekend I feel like I've been on like a low low because I miss her I miss a lot of people right now like I feel like pretty alone here at this apartment but I know that that's like the point of living alone and like being able to be comfortable in your own solitude but yeah I thought it would be good to at least spend the night with you guys it's Sunday night and honestly it's like the day before you guys are seeing this only because I wasn't even going to film or post anything tomorrow because I'm just like so low energy and I feel like I'm not my best self but honestly when I turn on the camera and I talk to you guys I feel like I'm talking to friends and like at this point, I don't want to burden anyone that like I'm texting or that I could call or something. But I just want to talk to you guys and spend the night with you. So this is going to be pretty chill. I don't really know what we're going to do tonight, but this is kind of like just like a night in my life. Health, self-care, please. Just like let's relax a little bit. Vlog. It's six o'clock. I'm eating my dinner right now. I'm just having like a small chicken Caesar salad. It's Father's Day and I had like a pretty big lunch with my mom and dad. And the sun goes down at like... 8 45 today so i think after this i'm gonna finish my video i'm watching becca watson and then i'm gonna go on like a really long walk just kind of like clear my mind i i find that when i'm down or if i'm feeling anxious or i'm on like a low low just going out for a walk outside helps a lot it's really nice and i think i could use that so i'm sorry for the low energy start but welcome to the vlog if you guys are new here my name is jenna maybe some of you guys are here from rachel's video because i think she's posting her florida video maybe the day you guys are seeing this or sometime this week but if any of you guys are new aside from rachel's video hi i'm jenna i am 25 i live in arlington virginia alone and i'm moving in with my boyfriend next month and i'm just a regular person working in corporate too okay well i'm gonna finish my salad and then we're gonna go on a walk together and yeah let's see what else we get up to tonight i think i want to journal and just like have a slow night alone with you guys also i feel like you guys are going to ask about my curls i'm gonna put my instagram story here i used the bondi boost new clever curling iron it's actually crazy the difference in quality from that curling iron versus my amazon one that was like 15 dollars so i'm gonna leave the stories here for you guys to see how i do that let me know if you guys want an updated like curling iron tutorial it's honestly pretty much the same as my last video but i can always film an updated one if you guys want and yeah okay dinner time Tell you what you mean to me. I'm afraid our story would end. Why are all your dreams against reality? When you're falling in love with a friend. If I just came out and told you, you're my everything. That's gonna be my exercise for today. So I guess in terms of this health vlog, in terms of like physical health, you guys know if you've been watching my videos, but I used to be really diligent about exercise, was going to the gym four to five times a week or running outside for like at least a 5K and that is what I would call exercise. And I just feel like lately I have been really wanting to change that mindset 
going on a walk, like going on a long walk for like 30, 45 hour, however long is the same thing as going to the gym. It's moving your body. And especially for me, when I'm like in my head and I'm feeling down and low, going outside is the thing that just like really, really helps the most. Going to the gym helps a lot too, don't get me wrong, I mean you guys saw me for like months. Going to the gym and lifting and just focusing on like a whole movement is really good I think for my mental health too, but in terms of my physical health, I'm just trying to rewire my brain that I don't have to go to the gym to get my movement in and going on a walk is just as good. Walking for a long time outside, probably at this point in my life and at this point in like the season, it's better for my mental health, it's in the same way like just as good for my physical health. So that's kind of where I'm at with my workout routine, my physical health and everything. And let's go on a walk. It is 7.14 and the sun goes down at 8.45 today or like 8.35 or something. So we're gonna go outside and walk for a long time and then we'll come back and chill. And then this is my walking outfit. I'm just wearing, oh my God, you guys, I look so tan. I've been going to the pool. But I'm wearing a cami from Set Active. I'm wearing my walking slash running shoes from On Running. And then I have this skirt on from Halara. This is my outfit. Let's go on a long walk and get our movement in today. Then we'll come back here and I want to talk to you guys about like my mental health and therapy and things that therapy has taught me so far. Because I do have a couple things I want to share with you guys in terms of some things that therapy has helped me realize or learn so far. So I think that's going to be this vlog today. Just like a nice little health vlog night in my life. Life, chill, relaxing, just trying to be in a better mood, honestly, and let's go. Okay, guys, my camera just... We're just gonna wait a little bit because I'm pretty sure my camera just broke from spilling water on it when I was doing those like dishes clips. So <laughs> we'll see how this goes. But I'm on my phone for now. So we might just do the rest of this vlog on my phone and that will be like fun, I guess. I don't know, but I'm like freaking out. It's fine. I'm gonna walk. It'll be fine. Every single moment, I love Swiss confusion. I don't know where. It's the next day. We're just gonna address the fact that I did not vlog last night. I was honestly so pissed when I realized that my camera was broken. I went to Geek Squad and they said that there was water damage and I just, it was dumb of me. So I was really disappointed in myself because I like broke my camera, but now I have a new one. <laughs> So this is the Sony ZV-1 if you guys don't know. This is what I've always used to vlog with. I'm not really looking for a bigger camera. This is honestly like really really nice and it's really compact which is what I like the most and it has everything that I need. So it was honestly my mistake that I basically like let it fall into the sink. It was a mistake like it was a human mistake but that's what happened and so yeah my camera broke and we're just gonna disregard and i have a new one and it's fine and you know what's crazy when i first bought my camera like the the old one for the first time i couldn't even do it and it was really jerry that like pressed yes purchase and it was like such a big cost i was like i really don't know what i'm doing i really don't know if this is gonna work but he was like he believed in me he was like just buy it like you're thinking too much and now i bought my second one because my first one broke and i didn't even think twice about it so it's just kind of crazy like i'm really grateful for my friends that have always believed in me as a creator because now look at me like I bought this without even thinking you know this is my old camera I brought it so that they could look at it I'm gonna try to figure out how to put the wide angle lens on this camera but I mean I put this on wrong in the first place so it's okay right but let's transfer everything over and then I will talk to you guys on my camera 
Okay, we are back. Back with the camera. Okay, we're just gonna disregard. Let me drive home and then we'll pick up back on this health vlog. But yeah, that's what happened. I'm sorry. <laughs> also, my outfit, you guys, I posted an Instagram story of this outfit, which is just really, really cute. But I'm wearing these new Ray-Bans. I got these Ray-Bans as a gift and I haven't had aviators since like high school, I think. But I like forgot. I think they look kind of nice. And then I'm wearing my Amazon button down. This is like my favorite thing ever. If it's not my white linen Princess Polly button down, it's this to add some color. And then I'm just wearing a black cami and my jeans. And this is my outfit. I feel like you guys are gonna ask about it, but this is the best. Like if you get anything, you guys have to get this. It's so nice. It was only $22. Okay, let's go home. It's like the middle of the day. Honestly, it's like the end of the day, Monday. I had to like today, today's video because I didn't have a camera and I just couldn't do all of it on my phone. I just couldn't. Okay, hi guys, I'm back home. I picked up a couple things from Trader Joe's just cause I like really needed these things and I don't have it. So I just got some almond milk and some Greek yogurt for my fruit. I realize I don't like really eating fruit on its own. I like need to eat it with like yogurt or something. So restocked on that. And then I got this hot honey. I've been wanting to try this for so long. I just hear it's really tasty. Got that. I got the cookies and cream Trader Joe's Bear Bells protein bar. They say it's really good. This Apparently this is the best flavor, but I'll try that later. I just like got it just cause it's usually sold out when I go. Okay, let me put these away and then I'm gonna make some dinner. And then how about as I eat dinner, I tell you guys more about therapy. <laughs> Be honest you guys this is a pretty random vlog anyways i know this was like very chaotic like honestly not how i thought this was gonna go to plan but things just like went crazy yesterday and now i'm finally ready to like sit down and talk to you guys about like the last part of this health vlog which is therapy also my dinner is basically a mixture of like two different hello fresh meals i just like didn't want to make either of them so i have basically like a farro veggie bowl these are like little dumplings that you would get at dim sum my mom found them in the frozen aisle really good very quickly for any of you guys that might not know i started therapy i think in march it's been a couple of months i've been using better help and the therapist that i have is the second therapist that i was matched up with you basically take like a quiz and you check off all the things that you kind of want to focus on the most the stuff that matters to you to hopefully pair you with the best therapist that can help you in the ways that you need like I told you guys, I didn't even realize I needed therapy. I don't think your life has to be going crazy or be catastrophic in order for you to start therapy, but how grateful am I that I did take the leap and I did get it and I did seek it out before I entered like this phase of my life where I do feel like I've been very down and like the lows just feel very low for me lately. And I have friends that are moving, friends that are already away. I miss my boyfriend and just like a lot of stuff mentally. I feel like I've been going through right now and it's been really difficult to navigate so having my therapist to help me kind of find reason and find comfort with all the life changes has been so so amazing i meet with her once a week i love her and i have like a whole therapy notes note on my phone just because i love our sessions but i do find that i forget what we talk about unless i write it down on my phone so i've been liking taking notes very lightly on my phone during my sessions and there are like a lot of things that i really you know obviously can't go into but i do want to share with you guys two things that i think has been helping me in terms of like if anyone's going through any of this then i hope that this can help you too but in terms of responding to text messages and responding to people that you don't need to respond to like i don't know about you guys but i feel the need to respond to everybody and respond to them like right away especially if it's heated i find that like i want to respond instantly more emotion driven less reason because like 
as you guys know, I'm very like emotionally driven. Things that I'm going through with my therapist that she's really helping me with is asking myself these questions. Well, first of all, waiting 30 minutes to respond to the text message, especially in a heated situation, is really helpful. That's the first thing that's been really helpful. And asking myself these questions has really helped me just respond less to the messages or the people that I don't need to respond to. So these are the questions I ask myself. Does this really warrant a response? Because oftentimes we just want to continue to like bicker or make our point or say something. You don't really always warrant a response in your conversation. So that question and yes, everyone matters to you, but does everything that they say matter to you to a point to warrant a response? Not all the time. So asking myself those questions during like heated conversations or if someone texts me that like I didn't expect them to text me and it's bringing back weird feelings, like just asking myself, does this really warrant a response in the first place is something that's been really helping me a lot. And just imagining like the stop sign. An exercise that we do is if something's giving me anxiety or making me feel like not great, I imagine a big red stop sign and I literally go through the motions of like taking a second to stop to think, to observe how I'm feeling and then make a decision and practice moving forward. What do I do? Do I respond? Do I not? Because that's my issue. And then the second thing that I'm realizing with therapy, I really don't think I would be able to make these realizations on my own, especially the second one. So as you guys know, Thomas is starting medical school. Like by the end of the summer, he will be starting medical school and we'll be moving in together very soon. And just going through those two very important parts of life, I'm starting to feel really anxious about like, what type of partner should I be? Should I change a different way of how, like I'm currently a partner to Thomas. How long should I give myself to adjust like fully living together? And then like, is there anything that I need to change or be more mindful of as he starts medical school and I'm his partner in that? So like these difficulties are obviously like really hard to deal with on your own and having a therapist really like talk it through with me has been really great and what I've been coming to realize is that you guys know I depend on my friends a lot and I'm realizing that since Thomas and I have been dating since high school and if you guys know Thomas my boyfriend he was a short track speed skater professionally and he pursued it his whole life he went to the Olympics and it was amazing I loved being with somebody that had that much drive and passion but it was really hard because, you know, skating had to come first no matter what, whether he was traveling or had practice and couldn't go to like a Friday night something with my friends. I had to always understand that he wasn't going to be around as much as a typical boyfriend and he had other priorities that were above me that maybe a teenager like, you know, would prioritize their partner at the time. So I had to really adjust and lean on my friends for such a long period of time, like literally up until 2020, all the way from 2014 through 2020 when he finished skating. I really did depend on my friends to kind of help me be with someone that was focusing on a sport the whole time. And so just like having those realizations that that's how I treated my friends before because my boyfriend was an athlete and now that he's not an athlete and now that he's starting medical school, it's a little bit different. And like, do I need to treat my friends the same way that I did before? And in what ways can I be a better partner now that he's not a full-time athlete and He'll be starting school so i don't know just like stuff like that it's been really awesome having a therapist help me navigate through these crazy parts of life and all in all therapy is going very very well and i've been really liking the better help app because my therapist is very prompt with me she's very flexible and i just really like her that's my little mukbang i've like barely eaten but that's my mukbang of how therapy is going and yeah i guess that's it for this health vlog i hope you guys enjoyed this video this is a very random vlog at the end of the day again it's pretty health focused but I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update on what's been going on in my physical health, my mental health, and just all the health things. That's what this is. And this is just crazy because my camera broke and all this stuff. Let me know what part of this video resonated with you the most. Was it the physical or the mental or just the personal? I want to know like what connects with you the most. And I want to know what you guys are going through too, because I'm going through a bunch of changes, a lot of mental things and just a lot. And it's really helpful when I know that I'm not alone and I have you guys. So I'm sorry for the chaos. This is all crazy crazy but I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. I start work again tomorrow so I'm gonna film a whole work week in my life starting tomorrow. Guess that's everything. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video but until then, miss you already.